When you think of spring, what comes to mind? Flowers blooming, new beginnings. Well, at Ballet Arizona, it means something completely different. I am here today with marketing specialist. You know her, you've seen her before on our show, Nikki Anna Medansky, and we are talking about a brand new performance called The Rite of Spring. You are actually in production right now. It's hitting the stage. This is something unlike anybody has ever seen before that you guys have done, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, set the stage for us, so Nikiana. It is a brand new world premiere. We've been you know, working on it for the last 10, 12 months. Um, it is going to have new costumes, new sets. It's going to have new choreography as well too. And it's all gonna be against the backdrop of Stravinsky's incredible score, The Rite of Spring. All right, so this is all the brainchild mm -hmm. of Eve Anderson, who is your artistic director. He has listened to this music, which back in the day, by the way, was very controversial, wasn't yes. it? Yes, so everyone at the time in the 1910s was very much like, I'm here for classical music and all of the traditional ballet that we always see. And then Stravinsky came in with this very intense, very you know, visceral music and mm -hmm. costumes and choreography that no one was expecting. And it absolutely changed the game when it came to the music scene. They were rioting back they were we riding in Paris. It was insane, honestly. <laughs> like, they were not happy with what it was, but it's become one of the most important works of the 20th century now. Right, right. I've heard the music and it is really intense. And mm -hmm. and, and Eve even said that it, it just kind of shook him up. Yeah. You know, and, and all of this, mm -hmm. uh, the choreography, even the costumes, some of which are behind mm -hmm. us, all his creation, I, I can't imagine how how his brain must work right honestly i can barely even fathom it myself honestly like he puts everything into these works in all of his new productions you know he for example he's painted these costumes himself the one um he did all of the all of the hand painted himself you know wow. while being artistic director while doing all this choreography you know doing all balanchine and nutcracker and everything too and you know he our costume top helped put it together but so much of it has come from him directly as well too all right now let's set the stage for you because it's not at a typical venue no. either it's happening at the desert botanical gardens mm -hmm. and this is something that besides the music and besides choreographing besides painting the costumes mm -hmm. he also came up with this concept of this 3d imaging mm -hmm. that's happening beyond the stage for sure. how, how How is that, I mean, it's just gonna just suck you in is Absolutely. all I can think. For sure, no, I mean, so when you're at the gardens, you're going to see this huge set with, you know, of these mountains that re resemble the Papago Buttes that are always behind us when we go to um, the Desert Pinnacle Garden. Mm -hmm. And while the dancers are performing, you're gonna have these projections at night that just transform the space into something entirely new. Like, it is going to be truly magical, honestly, when you're sitting there you know, ex at the garden experiencing this. Right, and, and keeping in mind, it's all outdoors, mm -hmm. it's all open, it's an open venue, mm -hmm. and of course, the gardens this time of year, yes. it's spring. Yeah, it's they're, spring, they're everything stunning. is beautiful, and you know, it's, the Desert Pinnacle Garden shows are some of our favorites of the year, because not only do we get to see new works, but it's not a traditional theater, it's not sitting in, you know, these audience, these theater seats, wait, watching a show, you're experiencing something that is so uniquely Arizonan in the desert outside under the stars. Yeah, it's almost like an immersion. It is, absolutely. The music's going to, like the music echoes around you, the, the um, projections and the sets just pull you in and the dancing just captivates you with like all of the avant-garde, but you know, it, like intrinsic nature of it. Yeah, yeah. How difficult is it for the the ballet dancers to perform on an open stage like it that? It is very difficult from what I've talked to them about. Like they, they have to compete with like dust and wind while they're performing. Oh my. You know, so <laughs> sometimes they're doing a pirouette and there's like, you know, dust in their eye and they just have to keep going basically. And mm. sometimes the wind will throw off their turns or their steps and they just have to work with it. But it's, everyone loves doing the, those shows because it just, it really is such a unique experience and no one else gets to do it. Oh, well, we get to witness it, yes. so thank you very much. Here's more information. Ballet Arizona presents The Rite of Spring at Desert Botanical Garden, May 16th through June 3rd. Call 602-381-1096 for ticket information or visit the website, balletaz.org.